The biggest challenge in developing cities in Southeast Asia is really the challenge of time with the pace of development. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bentham. I'm a, a member of the, the leadership of the company strategy of Shell and specifically responsible for Shell scenarios, which is our way of understanding the future. What we've noticed to be the real challenges, particularly in this region, are simply the challenges of bringing together different perspectives when everybody is trying to run so quickly. So you're recognizing that we need more public transport, but different views on what kind of public transport we need. And with different modes of transport, if you're able to develop those public transport systems and those waste systems and water systems ahead of the pressure, then you can actually develop really livable cities. Urban development has to have three features. It has to be compact, integrated, and it has to be collaborative. By being compact, you're using perhaps half as much energy as you would use in a sprawling city. You're able to have really good public transport. You'll be able to integrate power generation with wastewater treatment, with water circulation, with heat and cooling. You're able to integrate all these services together because you're in a compact form. So you need to have collaboration between different sectors of society, between the authorities and the private sector, between the different elements of academia and the think tanks and NGOs. Collaboration is essential because cities are formed of people and institutions which have particular views and particular interests. The world is changing. The world is transitioning and we're part of that change. 